Hello, good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, a little tired, thank you. A little bit tired, yeah, kind of tired right now, but it's okay. Where are you? Are you in your house or at work? No, uh, actually I am in my office. You're in your office working. Yeah. But after this, you're going to leave to your house. No, I'm staying here because we are working a lot. Um, uh, I work in a women organization. Mm -hmm. um, so we are finishing a project and we have a lot of, a lot of uh, things to do. So we have to stay here. But yeah, not that I, much, not, not until midnight. No, we organize our time. Uh, in fact, it's because I don't live here, I live in San Salvador. I live in San Vicente, and so I prefer to stay here instead of being traveling tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Your name is Lady, right? Yes. This okay. was the intention of the name. Uh, I mean, my my name was not written the, the right way, but everybody calls me this the the like the way that I like lady. Mm -hmm. Lady, yeah, I imagine that. Okay, yeah. very good. And your name? Yes. And your name? My name is uh, George or Jorge Asensio, right? Uh, Nice to meet you too, George. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, we are waiting uh, for the rest. I think we are just. Yeah, I, know. I, I was just uh, trying to know if the equipment is working because this is not my computer. So this is the reason that I connected. Okay, I understand. Yes, because actually we are waiting for the rest. Um, normally we are going to start around 7.55. Yes. How many people are going to be in the class? I guess around 10 people. Around 10 people. But I don't know. Okay. Okay, very good. But you already know English, right? You uh, work as a teacher or how do you, how do you uh, learn? But in fact, I studied English, but um, I didn't practice a lot. So I feel that I am pretty good in the language because I... I just been working almost for five years here in this organization. Mm -hmm. So I work with people, I organize women, and, but I have like a plan to prepare for this course because I need to, to get a different job. But because as I tell you, uh, I like what I do, but sometimes it's kind of hard to, to live my town, my family, and I'm here. <laughs> hey, that's good. Look yeah, for that's a good. Better yeah. A better opportunity. That's good. Yes, look for better opportunities. If you grow, a lot of people around you will grow also. So it changed your environment and your ideas and everything. Yeah, and I was like procrastinating for a long time to prepare for this course. So now is the time. I understand. Okay, very good decision. Thank you. Nice to meet you, lady. We have here Sir Han Rivera, right? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. You are in your house, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> very good. <laughs> okay, very good. Are you, it's are, you yeah. are you tired <laughs> right now or it's okay? You are with all the energy for the class. It's the energy for the class. For the with all class. the energy, with that, everything. Okay, perfect. Very good. Now, also, we have Katya and Alex. Hi, Katya. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. Very good. And you're in your house also, right? Yes, in my house. Okay, very good. You don't have to wake up early for work, or do you? Yes, I, I have to. Because I work um too far from my house mm -hmm. in another municipio <laughs> okay in another city and you have to wake up early right yes 
Okay, I understand. Very good. Mm -hmm. And we have Alex. Alex, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, nice to meet you. How are you? Nice are you in your house you. or in your job right now? Nice to meet you too. I'm fine. Uh, I am in my house now. In your house. Okay, perfect, perfect. We have also Juan Jose, right? How are you, Juan Jose? I am fine, teacher. Thank you. Okay, very good. You're in your house also? Yes, I am in my house. Okay, perfect, perfect. Nice to meet you. And Thank you. Maritza, are you there? Can you hear me, Maritza? Probably she has some issues with the audio or, or something like that. But uh, right now we are nine, so we are almost complete here. So welcome to the class. We are going to begin with the uh, preparation for TOEFL. I guess that all of you have um, like this kind of knowledge of English. So we are not going to talk about English. We are not going to talk about like how you pronounce or everything because you already have like some kind of experience with language, right? So um, now we are just going to give you tips. We are going to practice because practice is important. So we are going to give you some tips that can help you improve or can uh, help you get a better score in the TOEFL test. So we are going to talk about the TOEFL test. We're not going to talk about like uh, grammar or things like that. We are going to help you with that but it will be like a compliment. And also you can, if you have an idea or if something is working uh, for you to develop like your language or your reading skill or your uh, listening, you can share that with the group also. You can support each other, right? So that's what we are going to do right now here. Uh, nice to meet you all. Good evening. And uh, my name is Jorge Asensio. You can call me George. You can call me teacher. You can call me sir. I'm not uh, like, I don't look like a sir right now, but uh, you can call me uh, in those ways. <laughs> so um, nice to meet you all. Uh, first of all, uh, we are going to provide you like an introduction because we have to do this in every course. So we are going to do this right now, like a little presentation. And then we are going to talk about uh, the TOEFL, right? The TOEFL test, what? What do we have to expect? I don't know if you have taken the test already or not, but yes. Uh, Siran, you have uh, taken uh, the test, uh, yes? Yes, I want a question. Is really that expensive that exam for TOEFL? Um, yes, it's kind of expensive. <clears throat> yes, yes, it is kind of expensive. <laughs> it's very expensive. Yes, kind of. Lady, I think that you you have uh, already the amount, right, for TOEFL. I don't know if you have investigated, lady. Okay. You're on mute, lady. Sorry. Hola, hola. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, um, the exam costs around $60 in at Central Cultural. Okay, sixty dollars. One hundred eighty. One hundred eighty. Yeah, one hundred eighty right now. But there are, two, there are two type of TOEFL exam. I don't know what is the one that you already take <laughs> because I take I guess the TT. I don't remember what is the exact name, but okay. the one I took. It costs mm -hmm. around $60. $60. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because I guess it's around 180 something like that, right? But it depends mm -hmm. probably where you take it mm -hmm. or um, if it is a CCA or if it is in uh, Centro Cultural, right? But yeah. um, yes, it's around 180 probably. The one you took lady was uh, less or you, you took it, did you take it recently or? I took uh, maybe, I don't remember, but in 2019, I guess. Around like, two years. Like two years or three years ago? Yeah. Okay, perfect. 
So uh, yes, yeah, something like that. That's that's I guess that that is one of the things, right? That you that makes you think about taking the test, like the money, right? That you have to invest in that. <laughs> and but also, also the uh -huh. preparation, because if you uh, go to take the test and are not ready, you fail the, the exam. Yes, so you it's like necessary to prepare before and later invest because. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you pay 60 or 180, it's, it's an investment. Yes, it's an investment. Exactly. It's an investment that you have to take. And also it's an investment for your time, right? Because you need to organize your time to prepare for the test. And then you need to go there and take it. And also it's kind of stressful. Yeah, I know that it's kind of like that. But we are going to uh, talk about that in a while. So you don't have to worry about that, about that um you just need to relax and um, try to enjoy the experience right because <laughs> um uh, you can do a lot of things a different things with your time but you decide to do this so you have to enjoy the preparation and all of it right so that's what we are going to okay. do right now and uh, just let me share here the screen first of all we are going to start with reading right this is we are going to prepare only with the reading section and this is the order i guess that this is the order how it goes with um, the test so the first part of the test i guess is reading and we are going to do it in that way let me see here so this is what we are going to study this week okay so uh, yesterday we didn't have class, but we are going to have classes um, next this Friday, right? On Fridays, usually we don't have classes, but uh, for this uh, week, we are going to have it, right? We are going to have classes on Friday. Okay. Normally, we start around 7.55 because I have another class after this one. So <clears throat> if you are able to be uh, 7.55, that's okay. So okay. um, now we are going to just introduce ourselves a little bit. As you already know, my name is Jorge Asensio and I've been taking uh, the tests and different tests to test the language. Um, I've been, well, I've been taking a lot of tests, right? Because to be a teacher, you need to take a lot of tests. We are going to talk about that later. And um, as you already know, we have uh, the platform, right? You have the platform, tiene la plataforma. Um, you need to complete this uh, before Thursday normally, but in this case, I guess you will have one extra day Friday. But if you have been working in the platform, that's okay. Also, um, the homeworks, they they are useful to practice and also you need to complete it. I don't know if you're going to receive a diploma for this, but if you are, you need to complete it, right? If you do. Also, uh, this will be the 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 how we are going to organize uh, the different weeks. Week number one, reading. Week number two, listening. Mm -hmm. Week number three, speaking. Mm -hmm. And the last one, writing. Right. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. And also, uh, we have to uh, follow some uh, steps, right? Because we're going to do with other people, and uh, we work in different ways right so uh these are normas de convivencias or netiquettes um botón silencio if you have noise a lot of noise around you right um this the assistencia in this case uh, we don't take into account we take into account that you are present but i'm not going to ask you for your names and things like that if you need to write your name in your camera so i can address you in that way and your camera has to be on if it is possible so if it is possible, uh, you can turn it on. Uh, you can participate with questions or different things, opinions. Uh, you can use the chat also. We have a WhatsApp group. And if you want to ask something, you can raise your hand. And also uh, you have to be respectful, right, with other people. So that's what we are going to try to do here. Okay. And this is the attendance. Uh, this is just... Um, general information right we are going not the may 30th but we are standing here on today's 11th right Oct october 11th so that's yeah. when we are going to start this course okay so uh first of all i would like to know how 
how did you learn English and why do you want to prepare for this test? Let's start with Lady, please. Okay. Um, good evening to everybody. My name is Lady Lozano and I studied English at the university. Mm -hmm. um, I like the, the language mm -hmm. and also I have a dream to travel one day. And one of my of my expectations for prepare for the test is, is because I would like to first to to have like the accomplishment to, to pass this test because uh, as I was mentioning before I failed the course once and then I was saying I'm gonna prepare I'm gonna take a, a second time and I was procrastinating but as I said before to George now is the time and I expect to to get uh, everything from this uh, course because for me it's like a necessity because I feel like kind of frustrated when I wasn't able to pass this test. And when we are not practicing our English, we forget everything. And this is like one of my problems because I don't have to practice. And now I expect to, to learn for everybody, also for the teacher. So it's gonna be like one, one month, right? And I'm gonna try to do my best. So that's it. Okay, very good. Thank you, lady, for your opinion, your participation. Thank you. Now, let's see. Next one, Sir Siran. That is the, how you pronounce your name? <laughs> it's, it's, it's gone with J. Sirhan. Sirhan. Okay, <clears throat> Sirhan. Okay, very good. And okay. tell me your experience about English and what would you like to prepare for the test? Okay, my experience for this, but in English Cooperative, is a science model one in thousand and twenty twenty. I'm very grateful to be able to learn English to English Corporative. And my ex expectative is for pass to test uh, the, the topo. And I'm very, very grateful for, 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 for this opportunity that uh, that's uh, is is for 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 complicated for the for the COVID. The platform is born is is great. <laughs> yes, it's a it's a really good option. So you have yeah. been studying English in English Corporativo, and now you want to take the test. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Sir Han, for your. Uh, opinion your participation now let's see katia monterosa tell me a little bit of yourself how do you learn english or why are you interested in uh learning or passing this test hey good evening my name is katia monterosa i am a teacher and i i am studying too and i need to to learn and especially improve my um, a lot of listening and reading, comprehension, because the university where I study, requ uh, requirement to, to graduate the test. Okay, hopefully you are going to have a good score and you are going to pass the test for sure. So uh, we are going to practice in the pronunciation and also in reading. We are going to give you some tips, okay? Perfect. Thank you, Katia. Thank you. Let's see, Alex. Tell me a little bit of yourself, or tell me what how you learn English and what would you like to pass the test. Okay, teacher. My name is Alex Haku. I started studied. Uh, no, I am started uh, to learn in, learn English uh, in another module. Um, I remember was in uh, English for job. Uh, 
Oh, um, add to English corporativo and sense motion uh, pre pre inter intermedio inter mm -hmm. intermedial mo motion. And okay, my my experience in in English corporativo is is a good is a good um platform and a good uh, team for for learn uh, my expectatives is for is a um, is complete is is i is i i will complete the TOEFL and pass <laughs> okay very good very good expectations for uh for alex thank you for your opinion your participation and you have had also the experience with English Corporativo, like studying English. Really good, thank you. Let's see uh, Juan Jose now. Juan Jose, what would you like to pass the test or what would you be interested in learning more, a little bit of English? Good evening, good evening teacher. Um, I would like to, to learn English so much. I have been studying for, um, so much time to go, <laughs> but uh, my problem is I'm not always I can to keep uh, continuous with the model um, for my for my jobs, um, uh, jobs um, teaching in university, um, some time studying and another uh, another course many, many courses, <laughs> um, it's not necessary English, but uh, in my jobs, we have some uh, norms, norms um, to regulation, the, the, the build, the construction, for example, ASTM, uh, there are some, some laws, and that laws um, are written in, in English, only in English. Uh, it's necessary to to translate that a lot, and my expectation is is to learn. Is to learn is not necessary to to pass a test. Uh, the most important for me is to learn. I I know that it's very difficult for me to to listen in. Uh, some people that speak so fast is difficult to me to <laughs> to translate or to understand uh, to understand. It's very difficult, but I'm going to try. <laughs> okay, very good. So, Juan Jose, that, that's a good, a very good point, a different point of view that probably for you is not that important to pass a test, but you like to learn, right? You need to practice a little bit more and also for different ways for your job, for translation, for that's really good. Perfect. Thank you. Let's see. We have also Milton. Milton, tell me a little bit of yourself. Tell me how you learn English or what would you like to practice or prepare for this TOEFL test? Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening, classmate. And my name is Milton Kanjura. And I, I like, I always I like the, the English. And then in the next year, uh, last year, last year, excuse, uh, I have the opportunity in the uh, English uh, Corporativo. And then, uh, of course, uh, in this time, I, I the last year, um, uh, this year, uh, one, one year to, uh, I am studying. And then is for me is is good because I my expect are uh, to improve my pronunciation my listening and uh, because uh, finish the course of course or, uh, pass the TOEFL and then uh, uh, can can better my job and my and my life and then uh, uh, teacher my expected uh, there are 
Okay, perfect. Very good. So you need to improve your job and you would like to better your pronunciation and your listening, right? Perfect. Very good. Very good objectives. Very clear. Let's see who else we have here. Sergio Herrera. How are you, Sergio? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Let me know. What would you like to prepare for your TOEFL test? Sure, it's a pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity. And good evening to everybody. In my personal case, I am, I studied English a few years ago at ITCA, but for personal reasons, I couldn't continue my, um, my studies and I had to make a pause. Uh, then a few months ago, I had the opportunity to get into this uh, platform, uh, English Corporativo. And since there, I have been studying uh, English uh, in this place. And ha it has been a very interesting experience for me. And in this model, I... I'd like to do my best, uh, learn a little bit more, and I try to I'll try to to pass the 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 test because I know that it's so important for for different uh, situations in the life, especially for for job. They, they, this could um, open more doors in the life. And um, I don't know, maybe uh, get more uh, more knowledge about the English language is <laughs> the most important thing, I guess, I guess. Okay, very good, very good. Very good that you have had this kind of experience with English Corporativo that you have studied before, but now you want to take another step, right? To get more opportunities, very good. Thank Let's you. see. Thank you for your participation. Let's see. We have Maritza. Hi, Maritza. Tell me about yourself. What would you like to prepare for your TOEFL test? Hi. Uh, good evening, everybody. Well, I <clears throat> I, I studied English a, a long time, a long time ago, and a few months ago, I began again studying English in English Corporativo, and I have had about very good experience uh, here and uh, I would like to prepare be prepared for the test because I would like to get a better job a bilingual job and that's why I'm here okay very good very good hopefully you are going to prepare very well for the test and to get more opportunities thank you Maritza thank let's you. see we have also Marielos Moran how are you Marielos tell me briefly what would you like to practice for this test? Okay. Thanks, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my name is Marielos. Um, I live in Santana. Um, I took mm -hmm. the, the, the course in English Corporativo uh, since uh, in one year, maybe. Uh, um, I, I, I hope to uh, learn uh, to to better uh, my my fluency uh, my listening um, uh, really I I I expect the test but it's not the, the most important because uh, I I really need to practice my my speaking or, or my my listening because um, I really uh, I love this this language okay sometimes i think that uh, i can express my ideas better in english than in spanish because in spanish you uh, uh, you need to mirror uh, i don't know say medir, medir the, the, the words but in english you you say that like that, no? Yes. <laughs> okay. it's, it's good for me. I, I love this language. Okay. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you, Marius, for your experience with English language. And history is kind of more direct, right? A more direct in is the language, right? So very good. Thank you. Let's see, Sara Martinez. Tell me what would you like to prepare for the TOEFL test? 
Hi, good evening. My name is Ana Martinez. Um, okay, I have been studying English for nine months. And I have been studying English for three months in English Corporativo. Um, but uh, my expectative is because I want to get my certification in TOEFL because it's my first time and I am going to take my, the, the test. I don't have an idea, but it's my first experience. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Sarah, for your experience. And this will be the first time, so uh, you will have everything will be kind of new for you. So this information will be very useful for you, okay? So thank you, Sarah. Let's see, we have also Miguel. How are you, Miguel? Tell me, what would you like to prepare for the English test? Okay, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my name is Miguel Angel Ramirez Vargas. Uh, when I start in English Corporativo, I don't know nothing of English. Mm -hmm. It's a very good experience. Um, uh, I don't know. I will pass the test. Uh, I want to learn because it's a... Uh, I want an example for my family, uh, for my daughter. Uh, my intention is my separation. My expectative is um, is constant, is to finish. I need to speak a lot of. I think um, for, for me is is different uh, right now because I am going uh, to my report. Is her and her teacher for learning. Okay, very good, very good that you are thinking about your family and also that you want to learn. That's really good. Uh, that's really important, actually. Um, and you have been studying in English Corporativo also, right? Oh yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So I think that all of you have like a very advanced level, right? You are in advanced level, all of you, right? Advanced. Yes. 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 Okay, yes. perfect, perfect. So uh, we have uh, heard uh, some of you. I don't know if Nelsie, Irena, or Mayra are there to share your experience. Yes, teacher. Here I am. Good night. Good night, everything. Everybody, sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, my name is Irene Hernandez. I start uh, to study English, um, I think, in 2020 at English Corporativo. Mm -hmm. First, I studied uh, the course that English for Work with another enterprise, but I definitely uh, stayed with English Corporativo because. It has a very good uh, uh, professional people that uh, learn that, that, that show us that they have the experience. I, I am afraid about top of course because it's my first time that I will get and I don't really have an idea about it. I think it's going to be difficult especially because I have a, I need to study more about grammar because it's the part that I feel is that is uh, difficult for me. But I hope to get my certificate and it's just for a, a personal goal that I have all about my life. Okay, very good. It's good to have personal goals, to set your goals. And also, uh, since you, you don't have to be afraid of the course, right? Because it's just like general information. So you don't have to be afraid. You have to trust your yourself and, and also your the knowledge you already have. Let's see, we have Nelsi. Okay. Go ahead, Nelsi. Okay. Hello, everybody. And um, for me, this experience is to uh, personal goals. Um, I was studying English in English Corporativo about eight men, months ago. For me, it's a opportunity that the my job gave me to to develop 
uh, uh, my abilities. I think that I want to, to improve my grammar too, because I think that everybody, everybody is difficult this, this, this part, but um, this is a, a new experience to take the, the TOEFL, but we are going to try, we are going to improve. And um, it's a new experience, a new experience to take. Exactly, it's a new experience, right? It's new knowledge that you're going to learn and it's going to be useful for you to understand a little bit how, how this uh, it is like form right or is is done it's being done Myra are you, are you there yes teacher I hear okay Myra tell me why would you like to prepare for the TOEFL test okay teacher I'm I'm very excited for this for this preparation because I need to improve my writing my listening my speaking because I want to get a job in in full English or um, account in full English or anyway, I want to job and I want to speak English, but I need to prepare a lot. Okay, yes, exactly. That's uh, many of you have this kind of, of goal that you have to better your life or, or to get a, a better opportunity in your job. That's really good and also to learn and have this kind of experience. I guess that everybody has participated already, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So uh, first of all, we are going to talk about the test. If you need more time, you know how to organize your time. So you don't have to do it right now or later. You have to measure also your knowledge, right? And also the platform will help you with that. Have you checked the platform already? Have you worked in it? Yes. Yes. yes sir. And how yes. do you feel like the, the readings? It was easy, it was difficult, like the tips yes. they gave you? No, for me it's, uh, it's, a little, it's a little bit easy, but in some words, I have a problem with the pronunciation, but I try to I try to study more this word because I I word I I didn't have idea with the mean but with the meaning but this is on is just practice more or search the the meaning exactly you need to look for the meaning and also the pronunciation and uh, did you check already the the practice for readings for lectures for passages for text did you check that already yes the first part yes okay the first part and did you answer the questions did you have any problem with answering questions about the test mm, yes i have a question with uh um wait a, wait a few moments please okay my question uh is when i use the the last the la at the left at the last and i i use a set or i use yes i use a set but i don't have idea why you don't have idea, but that is in the reading, in the text that you were reading, the platform? Yes, and mm -hmm. in the, in the um, explanation, uh, she said about uh, the, the word. At last, I, he, she used um, a set, but I... Ah, but you're talking about the explanation, right? The explanation she was giving about different kind of questions, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. We are going to check on that. Uh, we are going to uh, in, in a while. Yes, go ahead. I have to say something. Yeah, in my games, I didn't have time to check uh, very well all the platform. 
Mm -hmm. I just made like a preview. Mm -hmm. And now that I listen to my partner, I guess uh, what we have to do is to try to get, as uh, to say at the beginning of the course, to try to get the tips because um, in the case of reading, it's one of the parts that we have a lot of problems because mm -hmm. we are trying to, to read completely the, maybe the, the readings. Yes. And, um, so when we are doing the test, the time is not enough. The time, because also <laughs> timing is you have to be, you have to hurry, right? And then you get stressed and then you start reading and reading and reading. And then, uh, yes, because every, you have some time, right? For the reading test, you have some time. For the listening, you have another time, like 40 minutes, 45 minutes, it depends. And once you uh, the time finish or finishes, you, uh, you have to finish, right? If you miss one question or another, or one, one part of the text or anything, I'm sorry, but, but you have to uh, give your exam. You need to give your test for, for example, the reading part. Yeah, so, so you're going, yeah, go ahead, lady. So I guess uh, for all of us, well, this part of this uh, is gonna be kind of hard because uh, the vocabulary is not basic, it's like Jamaica, and it has to relate with science, with politics, with culture. And if we don't read, we don't have this um, knowledge. So it's gonna be like more difficult. So we have to be we have to begin reading more and learn also new vocabulary. Exactly. Very good. Very good tips, lady. That's what we are going to provide a little bit of those tips right now. And I guess that because of the time and because you were sharing your experiences also with English, um, we are uh, we are going just to provide you general information. And tomorrow we are going to start with the practice. So in the reading section, as lady mentioned, it's kind of difficult to read the whole section and also uh, it's not like a regular reading it's a reading like academic reading right like science or i i didn't know but bi biology different things do we have to learn or do we have to read about science do we have to read a lot of books of biology no right we don't we, we don't have the time for that so we are going to uh, talk about the challenges of reading, about the reading section, types of questions, and we are going to have a reading practice. So that's what we are going to develop in this week, only one week, right? Then we are going to pass to the listening test. So uh, we are going to talk about um, educational reading. So it says one of the tips is uh, the best way to improve reading skill is to read frequently and to read many different types of texts in various subject areas like science, social, arts, business. So any of those lectures or readings or texts can uh, be given in, in the test, right? So it's kind of difficult, yes, but what you have to do is just to improve your vocabulary. Why? Well, the top four reading section is easy if you understand the passage and the questions. So everything is, is there. All the answers are there in the text, in the passage, in the paragraph. So it's kind of tricky because they are not going to give you the answer. Ah, this is the answer with the same words. They are going to change the words. They are going to change some of, of the words. And also you have to identify that. Okay. So that is the difficult part about reading. So um, let's see who was let's see um, Sergio let's see uh, at your current English level how much of a reading text should you understand how much do you understand of a reading when you read a text like 70 percent 90 percent 90 percent I I um, I guess I'd say maybe 70 percent but my problem is when i i am uh, re reading something an article i don't know something like that and suddenly i find a word uh, that i don't know uh, uh, its meaning and i and i wonder 
hey, what happened? Maybe because the that word is a key in the photograph. It's, it's key in the photograph. It's a main word that uh, that, that that makes uh, that uh, the paragraph uh, take a sense for me. In, and if I don't know the word, the meaning, the complete meaning uh, in the paragraph is missing. And that, that's my main problem. I don't know why, but some uh, sometimes it happens when I'm reading. And this is my situation. <laughs> exactly. That is the problem, right? That we have keywords. In the readings, we have keywords. So one keyword, as Sergio says, um, it's key to understand the main idea, probably. And if we don't understand that, probably we are not going to understand the question and we are not going to understand the passage. So we are going to get lost. So one is that is one of the problems when reading. We are going to check right now how it looks when you understand around 70%, right? This, how, this is how it looks when you understand 70% of the text passage. So this is how it looks. So you see you lost or you, you miss a lot of the meaning of the test, right? So this is 90%. This is when you understand the 90% of a paragraph. And this is the 95%. So you have to improve your vocabulary, right? So this is what we are going to do. The first tip is to improve your vocabulary. English has a lot of words. So we are going to focus on what kind of reading? Science, social, science, academic reading. So we need academic vocabulary. That's the first thing because the test is, um, the, the, they focus on academic tests, right? So that is the first thing that we have to do. So we are going to improve uh, our vocabulary. So that is the first tip. Reading a lot of easy and enjoyable text is one of the best ways to improve your vocabulary. Sometimes I'm not telling you that you need to read like just uh, science things or biology things, but you can start if you have time, right? To prepare for the test, you have time. Uh, you can improve your vocabulary with, with uh, I don't know, books that you like to read or with... Um, I, you know, probably subtitles in movies. That's a, a very good way to, le to learn phrases or to learn words, right? Because we don't see it and we don't practice it that often, right? So that is something that you need to, your environment has to be uh, full with these kind of things, right? So um, you need to know the context. First of all, both resources include text with an element of storytelling. So avoid studying, um, Sorry, let's see, a list of words. So to improve the vocabulary, sometimes it's, some people say it is, it's not that good to do a list of words because you forget. So you have to review everything. Some people say that it's better to use flashcards or something that you can use to um, remind or to remember these kind of words, right? But it is up to you. Everybody works in a different way, right? I'm not going to tell you, do this, and you are going to pass the test. And you probably, oh, the teacher told me that in the class, and I didn't pass the test. What happened, right? But everybody works in a different way. So if you find a way that is really, really useful for you, that's good. That's something that you can do. So the tip number two is use a flashcard app to help your memory and track your progress. Sometimes you, you can find apps to learn uh, vocabulary specific vocabulary we can download that this is how our memory works when we uh, learn a word for example so that's important reviewing that's why we have to review everything and with flashcards or with images or with context we understand better um, the the vocabulary let's see sara sara you have question go ahead no, I said I had a, a, a new app mm -hmm. and the flashcard mm -hmm. is very interesting because I you can write the, the new words or hard words and the the, the app remember the remember you about this word is um, the name target. 
or uh, Enki app. How, how, what is the name of the app? Tarjetas or Enki app. Tarjetas. Enki app? Yes, A M K I A P P. Okay, MK app. Very good. So you see, you can find different ways with your mobile or with your cell phone. You can download this application, MK app, or you, you can look for another application and you can start learning vocabulary in that way. Sometimes applications, they give you like specific topics, right? Like nature, food, or I don't know, science. And probably you can learn vocabulary and you have to remember that. You need to remember the context. How can you use it, right? So that is the hard part, learning vocabulary. Let's see the next part. Uh, this is a flashcard and also a, an, uh, another tool that we can use is Quizlet. Uh, this is a, a link. At the end of this week, I'm going to give you all of this information so you can use it. For example, Quizlet is a web page in which you can have a lot of flashcards with uh, sometimes images or with uh, the definition, for example, affinity. Um, let's see, what is the definition for you in a, uh, for affinity? Katia Monterosa, what is affinity for you? If you need to describe that word in English, what would you say it is? Affinity. Uh, maybe when you um, feel um, fine or well with something or someone. Okay, yeah, yeah, kind of when you feel well with someone or something, right? Very good. Let's see, it says a natural attraction or feeling of kinship. So we can have a synonym. Synonyms are really important to understand other words, right? Affinity. So, and we have, we have here 500 TOEFL words. So these words probably can help us to uh, pass this test. Flat, flat lean is another word. It's kind of hard, but flat lean is another one. Flat lean is young and unexperienced, you see? So they use the same words in the text and the test or in the questions, they use the same words. But instead of saying young and inexperienced, they may use flat lean. You see? And that's how you learn that. Hackneyed. Hackneyed. What is hackneyed? Overuse. Cliché. Something that is very used, right? I didn't know. Probably some like memes or I didn't know. Different things that are overused. So we understand overuse, right? But we don't understand hackneyed. So this is another way to learn vocabulary. So you can use this. I'm going to share this information with you so you don't have to worry about uh, copying it or where that is let's see another tip is count your words and have a goal that is important because uh this is the levels right according to this website these are the levels and this is the active vocabulary that, that we have for an a1 level or a basic level and this is the passive vocabulary so this is the vocabulary vocabulary that we don't use normally so if we are in an advanced level, we should have around 10,000 words and passively we can use around 20,000, something that we don't use that much. So it is good for us to count, to know how many vocabulary we have, right? So we are not going to learn here 20,000 words, but we are going to give you some tips, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. That is just a tip, right? For uh, learning English or learn, learning vocabulary. So uh, how to build your vocabulary? Use easy and enjoy, enjoyable materials that will be easier for you. You have to enjoy this. You have to enjoy the preparation or studying English. It has to be something good for you. Uh, set up a review system like flashcards or if you write a list or if you write something in your notebook, something that works for you and count your words and have a goal. For example, this week I'm going to learn 20 words, 20 new words this week, okay? So every day I will learn five words or three words. So you can start learning in that way and you will increase your vocabulary, right? Enormously. So 
that will be just some of the tips. Let's see, we still have four minutes. And also the possible, set, this is the reading section. So we are going to talk about reading this week. We can have anthropology, art history, astronomy, biology, education, environmental science, geology, history, literature, meteorology, psychology, sociology, and zoology. And I don't want you to get frustrated about reading or not understanding something. This is just learning how these tests work. It's not going to, to test your English as a whole, right? It's going to test just how um, the English works. For example, we have another web page that is ETS. You can have a mock test there and uh, with a timer also. And this is a similar um, test that we can have in the test and also that we have in the platform. Agriculture, iron, and bond to people. So we're going here to learn or read about agriculture. So we have to pay attention. And also here we have the, um, the, the questions. This is how we are going to practice. Probably tomorrow we are going to have a little bit of practice. Um, I have divided the class into, first of all, give you some tips, like the first 20 or 15, or 15 minutes. If you have questions, we can use 10 minutes more, or 10 more minutes. And then we are going to practice it, okay? For tomorrow, uh, the last 30 minutes of the class, we are going to practice. So it says, should I learn a strategy for each particular question time? You can have a general strategy. You can apply to multiple questions type. For example, let's see, Marielos. Uh, for example, if you have to test, or you, if you had the test in front of you, what would be your strategy to answer the questions as fast and as accurate as possible? Would you read first everything and then answer the questions? Or first, are you going to read the questions and then read the whole lecture? What would you do? Um, I, I will learn all the tests and then choose the, the question if I, I know um, and answer the, the questions and maybe at last, I I feel that the question I I I don't know. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, okay. So first of you will read everything, right? Yes. And then you yes. will start answering the questions. Yes. And then, for example, if you don't know the second one, you will leave it at the end. Um, if I don't know the the second one. If you don't, if you don't know the answer for the second, for example, for the second question, for example, you are going to leave that at the end of it. Let's yes. say, okay, perfect. So that is her strategy. Probably it can be useful for for her. Some people, what they do is that they start reading and they start answering at the same time because it's faster. Or some people they read everything because the the questions give you an idea of what you are going to read. And then it's easier for you to identify the answer. So that's a, that's another tip, right? So try to do that for every question in the, in the test, right? How to skim, what is skimming? Who can tell me what is skimming? Because in the platform, somebody says that skimming and uh, like, what is skimming for you? So can somebody tell me? Like, what is the idea of skimming a paragraph? Teacher, I I I guess this, the scheme is is like to make a a fast uh read over over a, a, a paragraph or an article. Exactly. I'm sure. I'm sure. Exactly. Skimming is to read really fast, right? How do we skim? For example, we skim here. We have the first the first paragraph the first paragraph is important because it contains the main idea of everything so that is important and that's why we read the first sentence of the first paragraph and the last one and that's how we understand the topic right the, the that what we are going to talk about in this essay right then we can read only the first sentence of each paragraph and the first sentence of each paragraph will tell you an idea 
what they are going to explain there, like the details, right? Here are just details about the first paragraph. And at the end, the last sentence is just uh, the how they sum up everything or how they are going to transition from one paragraph to another. So that is one thing, that is how you can skim, right? If you want to have the main idea of something, read the first sentence and the last one of the first paragraph, and then the first sentences of the rest of the paragraphs. So that can give, that can give you a, a sum of a, an idea. Let's see here. I guess that um, those will be my tips for today because it's time to, to go. As you can see, the class is going to be really fast because we have a lot of information. And tomorrow, the first 30 minutes, you, if you have questions, work in the platform and you can ask me the questions. And uh, the last 30 minutes, we are going to take it to, to practice, okay? Do you have any question right now? Yes, okay. I have a question. Yes. We did, which is they and the app flashcard or what? What is the name of? Of the the app. The app that uh, you mentioned or the one that I mentioned? Yeah. You mentioned the app. Ah, this one. Uh, this one is a web page. It is named, the name is Quizlet. Quizlet. So you can find a lot of flashcards and vocabulary there. Okay, thank Quizlet. you. Okay, yes, Quizlet. Tomorrow we are going to have a little bit of more tips and we are going to know how the test is, is developed and we're going to have uh, 30 minutes of practice, okay? So we will okay. try to practice tomorrow. But thank you okay. for coming. Thank you for your effort and have thank a good you. night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night, tomorrow. Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Take care. Thank you, bye.